Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to talk about what is operations and very interestingly, uh, you know, uh, very short, short snippet on what is MBA operations or what is operations. Now many people have been asking me that people do MBA operations, right? And what do we exactly need to do in operations? You know, uh, uh, many people have different kind of perspectives, but operations is about three simple things and this short snippet is going to cover those three simple simple uh, things that operations can be subdivided into basically and the purpose will be defined post which we will try to explain you know uh, individually that how these three things can be achieved and what is the purpose of operations as a whole and what does MBA operations or any operations course tries to teach you we will have a different video on what is supply chain and how is it different from operations uh, in a separate video but today it is dedicated to what is operations now operations as i told is about three things only my friends first very important quality improvement understand this operations is about only these three things broadly first is quality improvement now what is happening you have a particular output supposedly I am uh, and, and I've given this example previously in uh, one of my videos as well you are producing metal bars and you are producing one ton metal bars say thousand kg metal bars continuously in a process now according to your customer your customer defines the quality traits that they would require one of the important parameters is the weight of the bar if the weight of the bar goes below 995 kg the customer will not accept the order so the tolerance limit of the customer is 995 kg which means that you can have a deviation of maximum minus 5 kg from the desired weight of 1000 kg and this is one of the attributes of quality which the customer desires now there might be multiple attributes n number of attributes the luster of the uh, metal bar uh, the shape of the metal bar can be one of the attributes some of the attributes can be quantifiable some of the attributes might be more of a qualitative nature uh, but mostly the attributes are quantifiable because the industry tries to work on certain standards and that's why just to give an example you know uh, in, in a food center qualitative example of quality can be in a, in a food center the quality of the food that is being uh, delivered in a horeca business or hotel restaurants or cafes you know uh, uh, the kind of food that they deliver the standard taste of the food is the quality now what does a restaurant or a hotel or a cafe try to do what do this horeca businesses struggle with most uh, uh, prominently it is the standardization of the process it is the quality of the food that they have to maintain continuously if you are delivering 1000 kg bar my friends you will have to keep on delivering 1000 kg bar you cannot deliver 992 kg bar one day and 985 kg bar the other day and 1020 kg bar the other day doesn't happen that way you have to deliver it thousand plus minus five and that is when the tools like six sigma comes into place and six sigma is one of the most important tools to maintain quality where you try to reduce the deviation you try to reduce the variations in your final output attribute that is desired by the customer your customer has a tolerance limit your customer has a specification limit your customer has a choice that it shouldn't cross these boundaries you know the food taste shouldn't be too spicy shouldn't be too less spicy now what is too spicy what is too less spicy again that is again uh, for for different customers it might be different again the choice might also not be standardized and hence it complicates the problem even further what is not spicy for you might be spicy for me and hence the desirable attributes for the customers can also change and that's why maintaining the quality becomes even more difficult but when you have defined the standard let's say my less spicy is this and my more spicy is this I've defined them I cannot cross them and if I cross them they have to be outliers not every day can I cross them I can cross them once in a maybe a year or twice in a year or even maybe uh, you know every six months I cross it uh, uh, maybe three to four times but I cannot cross it every alternative day and then if I'm doing so I'm not maintaining the quality so the quality is one of the most important function of operations Our operations guy will always try to ensure the best of the best quality and in the process of doing so you will use your she will use tools like Six Sigma 
to ensure that quality to reduce the variations and deviations in the output of the process now next what is the next process the next process is cost reduction yes my friends a very important aspect of operations you know quality ke baad if anything comes it has to be cost reduction what is the current cost of production uh, remember a penny earned is not a penny saved only the profit is saved if you you know if you if you sell one unit more you will only retain the profit from that particular unit but if you save one unit more you know you will earn that entire unit you will save that entire unit one penny saved is your entire profit saved so cost is a very important aspect in terms of uh, uh, production unit now how would you reduce cost remove the wastes what kind of methodologies would you follow you would follow lean methodology lean is a principle which speaks on the lines that if i am trying to produce anything remember if i am trying to produce anything i will have to produce in the limited resources my friends in the limited resources in the given amount of time reducing the amount of waste that i generate from the process reducing the amount of waste or waste activities that happens during the process now when i do that i reduce the amount of investment on the same amount of investment i now produce more number of units so per unit cost of my production is reduced i can reduce the logistics cost i can reduce the uh, the uh, maybe the procurement cost i can re reduce the uh, uh, as i said the production cost i can reduce uh, my it costs it infrastructure cost i can reduce my human resources cost my uh, customer acquisition cost this is my marketing cost my distribution costs by optimizing my distribution channel and in number of ways i can actually reduce my cost and that is what operations is concerned about now many people would be saying operations is only about reduction of cost in production process no my friends operations actually coordinates with other departments like logistics operations coordinate with other departments like uh, gnda to reduce the human resource to reduce you know one of the important task is to produce the same output with the minimal amount of human resource that is one of the task of operations as well and this is the game of operations cost reduction now what is the third thing apart from the quality improvement cost reduction finally it's the game of the time reduction or so popularly called as the turnaround time a very important Uh, factor you know we call it the throughput it's or the productivity it's the amount it's it's the it's the amount that i can produce in a given amount of time i produce 3 units in 1 minute now i will have to make it so efficient that i can produce 4 to 5 units within one amount one minute of time how will i do that again lean methodology how will i do that again uh, by uh, reducing the wastes in the process through the lean methodology and how will i do that i will have to identify west steps or non value adding steps which are just consuming time we have to jot down the entire activity network and this is where the activity network comes into the place we have to identify the critical path we have to identify which activities are taking the most amount of time and then crash those employ more number of resources and complete it within the project deadline my friends so one of the most important tasks of operations is turn around time reduction that is i increase my production ability in the given amount of time i try to produce more number of units so quality improvement cost reduction and time reduction that is my throughput improvement uh, these three things form the backbone of my operations process other than that there are terms like productivity that is given a certain input of electricity or say manpower you try to increase the amount that you produce so your output by improve input should be maximized that is the word of production as well but primarily if i divide its quality time and cost those are the three 
sacrosanct things. And when you do an MB in operations, you will be taught thoroughly on these lines, how to optimize the logistics cost, how to um, go, go for a EOQ model that is continuous review model or continuous you know periodic review model, which will fetch better cost. How will you manage those costs? Again, when it comes to quality improvement, how will you do a Six Sigma process? How will you reduce the variations? When it comes to you know throughput improvement, how to jot down the activity network, how to improve on that, how to work out on that, how to fix a work schedule, how to optimize your resource utilization. Most important operations is about resource utilization to its optimum. I give you this space, I give you this number of people, I give you these resources, I give you this time. Time is a resource also my friends and utilize that to give me the maximum production that is possible with the best of the quality that is possible. And that's what operations is about. That is what op is being taught in MBA operations in particular. What is the best college in MBA operations? There are multiple colleges and number of colleges that are good in operations. ID Bombay is there but popularly known as the Mecca of operations is Niti Mumbai which is known for its operations uh, functions. So if you are very very enthusiastic you can go look out for Niti Mumbai. Other colleges are also very very good. Our college is also like the JSM ID Kharagpur is also very popular for operations. You can come here as, as, as well but an MBA degree or a PGDIM or a uh, PGDM degree in operations, if you seek to do, you can do it because operations is about these particular attributes. If you work in, want to work in this domain, you are more than welcome. In, in companies, you will be solving these business problems that with these resources, if I have to optimize my production or optimize my processes or optimize my ultimate output to the customer, how will I do that? You have to prescribe algorithms, you will have to predict outputs, and you will have to do it the best way possible. And that is it from my side for today. We will have a separate video on supply chain and what is its difference from operations and how to ace that supply chain as well. We will try to discuss it in a separate video as well. So thank you very much. Uh, that's it for today. If you like it, like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and keep on uh, staying with us. Hit the bell icon for regular updates. We will be bringing more videos like it. Thank you.